Hey guys, welcome back to The James Theory, and today I need to talk to you about The Angry Video Game Nerd, which is somebody that I've been watching for many years now, and the reason why is because I have come across a conspiracy about him that I think needs to be shared. So, this is James Rolfe, or The Angry Video Game Nerd, and the thing that got me onto this conspiracy is when I realized that he was born in New Jersey. So automatically, when you find out someone's from New Jersey, red flags go up because most people run like this. This is like how most people would normally run. But people from New Jersey have the Jersey Shore, which is a giant beach. And because of that, they have evolved over time to run sort of like this. They kind of like get down really low and they just scuttle back and forth. So automatically, people from New Jersey can't really be trusted. Don't get me wrong, they're still very good people. But anybody who runs like that, in my opinion, you have to question them. But what really got me thinking was when I realized that on the same channel as his Angry Video Game Nerd videos, there's also Board James, which is another guy who reviews board games. But as I was watching them, I realized, wait a minute, these guys look almost the same. So I did a professional artist rendition, and look, I'm pretty sure that's the same person. Now how can two people look so similar unless James Rolfe has been cloning himself so that he can make more content. Now I've tackled some cloning conspiracies in the past, but I think this one is the most shocking. So let me show you some of the evidence that I've gathered that proves my point. So first of all, I come across this article talking about New Jersey horseshoe crabs and how vital they are to vaccine rollouts. And there's this battle for their survival. And the article even talks about possible cloning of these crabs because I guess they need their crab milk or something like that to create the vaccines that we need. Okay, on top of that, I come across this article which talks about how on January 4th, 2004, New Jersey authorized cloning. Okay, that was January 4th, 2004. And when did the first Angry Video Game Nerd video get made? May 16th, 2004. So literally only a couple of months after cloning becomes legal in New Jersey, the Angry Video Game Nerd starts making videos. It's almost like he was waiting for cloning to be available. So I look further into New Jersey cloning, and I come across this site, which is talking about the best clones in Jersey City. Now the clones they're talking about here are illegal plant clones. So I thought, okay, who else clones plants? The Lego company prints and clones many plants, including this piece here, a plant plate, and the part and color combination of this piece is 6286830. So I Google that number, and the first thing that comes up is this article talking about molecular cloning of Rhizobium trifoligenes. But more importantly, look at the list of people who wrote this article. The second last person is G. Rolf. So then who could G. Rolf be? Well, I look into that and it turns out that he's got a sister named Gina Rolf. So apparently the entire Rolf family is in on this whole cloning thing. So then I start looking back through the Angry Video Game Nerds videos to look for clues to prove this cloning thing and check out this clip I found from the Nightmare on Elm Street video. Now, I can't imagine having four people playing this game. Who's going to want to play this piece of shit? I'm lucky if I can get one other person. I have a better chance of cloning myself. I had to remove this part of the video because it's basically just a straight minute of swearing. Wait, wait, wait. I just cloned myself. So there we have him confirming that he knows how to clone himself and is using these clones for all of the killing scenes in his videos. How disgusting. Well, at this point, I thought, okay, I've pretty much proven this is true, but I should probably do a little bit of math just to really prove my point here. So I find the Evergreen Memorial Funeral Home, which just happens to be in New Jersey, and they have cremation services, which is where I believe James Rolfe probably gets rid of any of the messed up mistake clones that he makes. Well, the address to this place is 1735. Well, if you take 1735 and add 1980, the year that James Rolfe was born, it gives you 3715. Well, it just so happens that Cinemassacre, which is James Rolfe's company, has sent out exactly 3,715 tweets at the time of this video. What are the chances of that? So I look further into this number, and the first thing that comes up is a guide to beating level 3,715 of Candy Crush Saga. So I look into that game, and it turns out that the main character of Candy Crush Saga is this little girl character. Well, then I find a bunch of trivia about this character, and look at the final piece of trivia. Apparently, she comes from New Jersey. 
What are the chances of that? So clearly I am being led back to New Jersey. So I look into New Jersey one last time and I find this article talking about a man who's facing jail time for running an illegal two acre landfill. And look at this image of the landfill that was connected to the article. Clearly it is one of James Rolfe's disposed of disgusting nerd clones. Conspiracy proven. Well, anyways, guys, thank you for watching this conspiracy. I hope that you enjoyed watching me prove this. But on a side note, I got a message from Mason saying he was considering becoming a patron, but was curious if they had to hunt their own rats for food or if I fed you guys while you were down there. And that's when I realized that I haven't actually checked on my patrons in my basement in a couple of months now. I guess I forgot that you never ever make a mistake. So I decided to go down and check on them and oh my God, uh, I'm sorry that I've neglected you guys uh, I even lowered Mason down by a rope so he could check out the situation. And I'm sorry for the neglect, but I decided to send down two buckets of fish heads to feed all my patrons. I hope that that makes up for it. Uh, Mason did decide to join the Patreon basement, so thank you for that, Mason. And if you want to join the patrons in the Patreon basement, there's a link to my Patreon in the description. I promise I'll feed you better going forward. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next conspiracy. Just do the math. Numbers don't lie